Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. I'm actually adding this video, I think about two years after recording this swing course. And there are three things that I want to tell you about in this video. The first is that um, applet support in browsers is even less good than it used to be. I think applets are really on their way out. So in the code that I'm ab about to show you, we're going to cover animation and we're going to do it in the context of an applet and that's all going to work in Eclipse but there's one video where I show you how to deploy a applet with HTML. Now the Chrome browser I believe removed support for applets basically in uh, April of this year which is now 2015 so you won't be able to get that to work on Chrome and it won't work on Opera. It should work on other browsers although you may have to fiddle around with your security settings to get it to work. And the only um, place where I've really ever seen applets used seriously is, has been in in-house software where um, people can control centrally the browsers that people are using and the security settings as well. So the bottom line is um, this tutorial is still good. It's still uh, good for learning about animation especially. But when we come to that video on deploying applets, you might want to consider skipping that unless you envisage you might be developing an in-house applet some uh, someday you know for use within a company and then it's still hopefully relevant uh, so uh, what i'll do is um, just to kind of remedy that a bit is at the end of this section i'll add a video that shows you how to turn this code into a desktop swing application and that's also quite a good thing that you could have a go at yourself if you want a little bit of a challenge which you should be able to do if you follow this course so far. So the, the code that we're going to see is going to work in Eclipse. It's only that one video on deploying the applet that um, is potentially going to be tricky and if you're using Chrome or Opera it just won't work now unfortunately anymore. So the, uh, the other couple of things I that I want to mention is that I've, I've got a Mac computer now and when I try to run this applet in the Mac. So if I if I do this, this is what it should look like. So we should end up with this at the end of the course and there's a ball bouncing off a bat. But in fact, let's just go back. I found that it actually initially crashed. So there's this game.java where we're going to develop a sort of component that shows this bouncing ball bouncing around, a sort of custom component. And this has got in it some uh, code for hiding the cursor and the way we do that is we create a blank image and set that to be the cursor using this um, like hidden cursor equals get toolkit create custom cursor thing. Now the problem is that when you create a cursor you have to specify a hotspot and that's the spot within the uh, cursor image that actually clicks on things and originally in the code that, that you're going to see in the following section, I set that spot to be 1, 1. And if you do that, I discovered on a Mac, it doesn't actually work. Let's try that again and go to run as. What happens is it, this is sort of blank, the applet viewer from Eclipse. And we get this uh, sort of trace back, this exception. And if you look for the first line in here, that's actually in code that, uh, that we've written, that we're going to write in the following section, it's right here on this line that creates the custom cursor. And that can be fixed by setting the hotspot to 0 .00, 0, and then it works. So in theory, swing apps are completely cross-platform, but it's true that sometimes they're not as cross-platform as you'd like. And if you really want to deploy a swing application of any kind, um, it, it's, a, it's good practice to test it on all the platforms, all the different versions of operating systems that you might want to deploy it on, which unfortunately I, I can't do. I used to have just Windows and now I've got just Mac. But um, this is the only thing I've discovered that really doesn't work, uh, at least on this version of the Mac operating system. So let's, let's run that again now, and now it's fine. The other just little minor point is, uh, when I develop this program, as you're going to see in the following section. We've got this bit where we've got like a bat that we use to bounce a ball around. And originally, when we um, detect an intersection of the ball with the bat, I reverse the x and y direction of the ball. But that gives a very unnatural bounce because it means that the ball bounces off 
at the same angle that it hit the bat on like this, uh, which, which is a bit strange. I don't know why I did that originally really. So to fix that, if you want to improve that a bit, just comment out the bit of code that you're going to see uh, soon, which reverses the X direction of the ball, only reverse the Y direction when it hits the bat. So that's that's it basically. Um, so my suggestion is that you, you work through this code, get the applet running in Eclipse. You might want to skip the section on deploying applets because um, you might you might see an applet if you're running in-house software within a company. But other than that, to be honest, they're not really that much use. And they've always been a bit rubbish. You know, they used to lock up your browser and stuff. Um, if you do want to deploy a Java application on the internet, you can do it with Java Web Start, and then it doesn't run within the browser, um, or at least the way that works in all browsers won't run within the browser. Uh, on Chrome, for example, you have to download a little file and click on it, and that starts a Java program on your desktop. Um, that's kind of outside the scope of this tutorial. It's a little bit involved. You have to... Uh, do some command line stuff a little bit to sign your jar and to deploy it on the internet you'd also have to pay for a certificate from a certificate authority so I'm not going to go into that but if you did want to deploy a Java app from the internet that would probably be the best way to do it and it's called Java Web Start. Okay so I'll leave it there for now and I'm going to add a extra video as well at the end of this section on how to turn your applet into a swing app that runs on the desktop. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.